away and recording. Finally announced, Zinchenko. How happy are you? I'm very happy. Um, it's a position that we wanted to strengthen. It's a player that I know really well and I know what he's going to bring to the team and to the club. Uh, a completely different competitive edge, a lot of quality and a versatility that, uh, that we don't have. Can you see him playing in a 10, maybe central midfield, left wing back? That's quite options for you, isn't it? Yeah, his main position is as a left back, but within that position and within the, the formation that we have, he can alter and occupy different spaces on the pitch. And this is the main quality that um, Alex has. How happy are you if you're transfer window so far? Very happy. I think we are accomplishing um, what we planned, uh, there is still a few things that uh, we would like to do in and out, and uh, that will be determined on the possibilities that uh, are on the market. Talk about outgoings, Nuno Tavares to Atalanta on loan. Can you say anything about that? No, as I said to you, but uh, we have still some players that. Um, that are in contention to, to stay or go, and, uh, and the moment we have news, we will communicate them. You have a big squad, but is it about adding better quality? Yeah. I think we all have now in the Premier League bigger squad in pre-season, uh, because obviously all the loans have came back and, and you have to replace everybody in the right position, but we know where we're going to end up um, at the end of this transfer window, and hopefully we can, we can make it work. Do you have a number, how many more you'd like to bring in ideally? Uh, we do have a number, um, we cannot share it. Oh, please. <laughs> um, Martin Odegaard's here, he's led by example. How close are you to announcing a new captain? Yeah, it will be announced uh, pretty shortly. I, I think when, when we get back, after I've seen the team, how uh, the new players have adapted, their roles, the interaction that they are having, I will, I will make it um, clear. And the talk's going well, contract-wise, for Saliba and Saka? The contract talks are always private and whatever we are discussing with players is something that we cannot do, but obviously we are building a team for the future and those names are really important for us. Bonnelli, I've noticed all week you've been happy, smiling. It's been a good tour for you so far. It's been really good. Uh, honestly, thank you for everybody that has been involved in, in planning this tour, uh, for the people that are contributing to make us feel so welcome and obviously at the end what it makes a difference is the level of support that uh, players and staff the club gets and it's been immense because you can feel how how big this club is and everywhere that we go the amount of fans that we have next to us. Okay. This is still a pre-season match but what is the importance of winning a match with this size at the I think it builds uh, more and more confidence and, uh, and it prepares you better for for the season and uh, this is what we want to do. It's true that we have rotated a lot of players in, in both matches and uh, now we want to start to give some players a little bit more minutes. You talk a little there, but can you talk a little bit more about the arrival of Zinchenko, please? That I'm really happy. I know the players so well. Um, it's a player that is going to give us a different dimension in, um, in the way we play. Um, it's going to raise the competitive edge of the team because uh, you bring another top player which has won everything in the last few seasons and uh, that winning mentality is going to be installed now with players that uh, they have already done it. We are from Brazil and how you deal with three Gabis? Very easy. There's three of them, great characters, great personalities. Uh, and it's not about them, the way they are interacting with everybody is a joy to, to have them, so we're too content. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you very much. I'll take care.